What's up, Battlefielders? This is Aaron Sampson from GameSpot with a few starter tips and tricks for ground vehicles in Battlefield 3 multiplayer. First and foremost, tip number one is that this is largely a vehicle-based game. Do not ignore those vehicles. Control them intelligently or get run over like a deer on the 101 freeway. When it comes to the start of your match, share your ride. This isn't just to be nice. There's absolutely nothing more dangerous in Battlefield 3 than a well-oiled tank crew that can fire two simultaneous machine guns and a main gun round and then have one guy get out and repair the tank while the other one shoots sappers in the brain box. When you get into that first vehicle, glance at your mini-map. That's the thing in the lower left corner. The little triangles heading towards you are your friends. Hold your horses and let them get in. Are you already not listening to me and driving away? Do you hear that pistol fire plinking off your rear armor? In Battlefield, this is polite language for hold the heck up. You should do so. Conversely, did you miss the train to MCOM town? All the vehicles gone when you spawned in? Don't despair. Start hotfooting it across the desert. Early on players can unlock a speed boost that will cut down on your transit time. The first enemy vehicle you come across, assuming you have some type of explosive launching device, disable it. Don't destroy vehicles if you can help it. Engineers have a little friend called Torchy, and Torchy can repair vehicles prodigiously. Mid-combat, look for the disabled message to pop up. That means the enemy vehicle can't move anymore. It can still shoot though, so watch yourself while approaching it. If there's an engineer aboard, he or she will usually have hopped out at this point and start repairing. Toss a grenade to that other side of the vehicle, or just go around and take him out the old-fashioned way. Then repair the vehicle and turn it on your enemies. Anti-aircraft gun to your face! Rockets! Run, little ants! Run! Okay, so one way or another, you've now acquired yourself a vehicle. Once inside, you can jump between seats without exposing yourself to small arms fire. Practice doing so on the fly. Many vehicles such as armored personnel carriers, jeeps and boats, carry powerful machine guns that can't be used while you're driving. Get to your MCOM or flag area of choice and switch to the turret. If you're transiting the landscape alone, switch to the outside view. This gives you better awareness of your surroundings and therefore a better chance of preventing support class forces from running up and planting C4 on your hull. Boom! Let's say it went well and you capture the flag or destroy the MCOM. Good for you. But let's say maybe you got there and things didn't quite go as planned. Don't hang around until your vehicle gets destroyed, or worse, disabled and kidnapped. Back out of range, pop smoke if you have it, and repair under concealment. Distance is your best armor against rocket-toting enemies. Also in Battlefield, if it's time to bail, you almost always emerge from vehicles on the left side, unless the left side is obstructed by a wall. So every time you dismount, aim the right side towards danger. Stay away from the actual vehicle explosion if you can help it, the splash damage will kill you. Then get back to the Flaming Hulk and use it as cover. If you're a crafty engineer and your vehicle's been disabled, go ahead and drop some mines underneath it. The second the enemy hops in, they'll go to respawn heaven. So now you're at that point in the match where you lost your vehicle. Hopefully you realize by this point that another shiny new one has appeared back at your base to replace it. Go get it. As you drive back into the battle, Observe that some vehicles have a secondary fire mode. The anti-aircraft mobile guns in particular have air-to-air -air rockets and an insanely powerful dual machine gun. Start with your heat-seeking rockets, and while that's reloading, go to guns and finish off your target. For ground targets, the guns do just fine. Also, don't be afraid to drive through walls, trees, and the sides of buildings. Sometimes the best play is right through something. Speaking of, destroy enemy cover religiously. Who cares if they're not there at the time? They might be there later, and they don't deserve to have it. Heed these words of advice, and you will do well in your first few matches on the battlefield. Have tips and tricks of your own? Feel free to comment below. We'll try to get some more time in helicopters and jets and get back to you on those. And as always, thanks for watching.